Hi everyone, this is Hemashri from 5th Sem BCA of St. Francis D. Sales College. So, my topic for seminar is addressing modes. So, let us see briefly what is addressing modes. The addressing mode gives or indicates a rule to identify the opponent's location. Computers use addressing mode techniques for the purpose of accommodating the following provisions. So, the first step is to give programming versatility to the user. And the second step is to reduce the number of bits in the address field of the instruction. And the third step is to provide flexibility for writing programs. So, these are the various addressing, addressing modes available. So, they are implied mode, immediate mode, register mode, register indirect mode, auto increment or auto decrement mode, direct address mode, indirect address mode, relative address mode, indexed address mode, base register address mode. So let us see what is first one. Although most addressing modes notify the address field of the instruction, there are two that needs no address field at all. They are implied mode and immediate mode. So let us see what is implied mode. In this mode, the operands are specified implicitly in the definition instruction. All register reference instructions that use an accumulator or implied instructions. Example CMA. Complement the contents of accumulator. So the most advantage of implicit addressing of this kind is that it results in shorter instruction formats. Shorter instructions take up lesser space in memory. Zero address instructions stack organized computer or implied mode. So let us see what is second one that is immediate mode. The purpose of an address is to identify an operand value to be in executing the instruction. Sometimes this operand values is contained in the instruction itself. This mode of operand specification is called immediate addressing mode. So let us see what is example. MVI move 45 to the accumulator. Move the data 45 to accumulator. I is immediate. So let us see what is the register mode. That is the third step. In this mode the operands are in registers which reside within the CPU. The register is selected from the register field in the instruction. Example, move AX, BX. Move the contents of register B to accumulator. So, hope you all understood the first, second and third points. The fourth point is register indirect mode. An operand identifier is called an indirect access if it is address of the storage device whose contents in turn form the direct address of the desired operand in register indirect mode. The instruction specifies a register in the CPU whose contents give the address of the operand in memory. So the advantage of this register indirect mode instruction is that the address field of the instruction uses fewer hits to select register than would be required to specify a memory address directly. So let us see what is the example. Move AX, CXI. Move into accumulator the data whose address is specified in register CX. So hope you all understood what is register in direct mode. Let us see what is fifth one that is auto increment or auto decrement mode. This is similar to the register in direct mode except that the register is incremented or decremented after or before its value is used to access memory. Let us go to the sixth point that is direct access mode. Uh, sorry, direct address mode. Very frequently an operand is identified by naming the devices stores its current value. This is called direct addressing. The operand identifier used which is called a direct address is usually a CPU register name or main memory address. In mode, the effective address is equal to the address part of the instruction. 
so this is the direct address so this is the memory and this is the operand and this is the accumulator so it consists of 3 bit opcode a 12 bit address and a more bit first which is 0 for direct address a direct address instruction is placed in address 22 in memory in the example the opcode specifies an add instruction and the address party is the binary equivalent of 457 the control finds the operand in memory at address 457 and adds it to the content of AC that is accumulator. Effective address is 457. Hope you all understood what is direct address mode. So let us see what is indirect address mode. In this mode, the address field of the instruction gives the address where the effective address is stored in memory. The instruction is obtained from memory and it uses its address part to access memory again to read the effective address. So effective address which is equal to address part of instruction plus program counter content. So here the CPU register may be the program counter, an index register or a base register. The instruction is placed in address 35. The mode bit is I and so is indirect address. The address party is binary of 300. The control goes to address 300 to find the address of the operand. The operand found in address 1350 is then added to the content of AC. So the indirect address instruction needs two references to memory to fetch an operand. The first reference is needed to read the address of the operand. The second reference is for the operand itself. So the effective address over here is 1350. Let us see the diagram of this in direct address mode. So you all can see this is the diagram of indirect address mode. We have memory 22 0 at 457 300. 1350 and this is the operand 1350 is the operand which will be added to the accumulator hope you all understood indirect address mode so let us see what is relative address mode in this mode the content of the program counter is added address part of the instruction in order to obtain the effective address the address part of the instruction is usually usually two complement representation which can be either positive or negative. So the effective address which is equal to the address part of instruction plus program counter content. So here let program counter contents equals to 2050. Address part of the instruction is 50. Then the address of the operand 2050 plus 50 equals 20A0 that is 10 0 H or 2000D. Relative addressing is used with branch type instructions when the branch address is area surrounding the instruction. This gives a shorter address field. So let us see what is indexed addressing mode. In this mode, the content of an index register is added, added address part of the instruction to obtain the effective address. If an index type instruction does not include an address field in its format the instruction converts to the register indirect mode of operation so here effective address which is equal to the content of an index register plus address part of the instruction hope you all understood what is indexed addressing mode so let me move to the 10th point that is base register addressing mode in this mode the content of a base register is to the address part of the instruction to obtain the effective address. This is similar index addressing mode. A base register holds a base address and the address field instruction gives a displacement relative to this base address. The base register mode is used in computers to facilitate the facilitate the reallocation of the programs in memory. Hope you all understood what are addressing modes and different types of addressing modes. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much.